All right then, so the first thing we need to do is set up a project to use Materialize CSS. Now, as you can see, I've already opened up VS Code right here, and I've got a file called index.html open. Now, this is empty at the minute, but this is where all of our code is going to go, at least for the first half of the playlist. Now, one of the cool things about using VS Code is that it comes baked with a package called Emmet, and with that, I can do a load of shorthand stuff like this. I could type out doc and press tab, and that's going to create this kind of HTML boilerplate for me with just a few meta tags, a title, a body, etc. So that's really cool. It also allows me to do stuff like this. I could type out div and press tab, and that will create a div tag for me, or I could do something like div dot um, hello, and that will create a div with a class of hello. So it really allows me to speed up my HTML development. If you're using Atom or Sublime, you might have to install Emmet separately. If you're using VS Code, it comes baked in with it automatically. All right then, so let's just change the title here to something like Materialize um, CSS or something like that. Okay, let's save that. Now, what we need to do is add into the head our links to the Materialize library. So, first of all, head on over to materializecss.com. The link is going to be down below and click on this one and get started right here. So if we go down, you're going to see different ways we can install this. We're going to use the CDN right here. So I want you to grab both of these things, first of all, and I'll explain exactly what these are in a minute. Copy those and we'll just paste them inside the head above the title, like so. And the first one right here at the top, that is the CSS from Materialize minified and compiled. So now we can use all of the different CSS classes that Materialize comes with. And the second one down here, this is a script tag and it's linking to the Materialize JavaScript library. So that allows us to do all of the more interactive components, things like pop-ups or form widgets. Okay, so we're going to paste both of those in the head. The next thing I'd like to do is scroll down here and we're going to grab something else and that is the Google font icon library which is right here so let's copy this thing and we'll paste that inside our head as well and this is going to allow us to add different icons into our project things like a phone icon or a mail icon stuff like that because materialize by itself doesn't come with that we have to load in this material icons font library from google okay so now we have everything there ready to go so we can start working with materialize all right, so let me just add in a little h1 right here, and we'll say, I don't know, materialize CSS, and I'm going to save that, and now we want to preview this in a browser. Now, one of the other extensions I've installed for VS Code is called Live Server, and this is going to let me spin up a local development server with a live reload capability, so that when we make a change over here, it's going to update automatically in the browser. So install that if you want to as well. Just search for it here, live server. Once you've installed that, what you can do is just right click on your HTML file and go to open with live server. That is going to open it up in a browser for us. So whenever we make a change over here like so, it's going to automatically update in the browser, which is pretty cool. All right then, so there we go. We're ready now to start working with Materialize. And in the very next tutorial, what we'll do is talk about some of the basic styles that Materialize comes bundled with.